everybody. I am Candelo Kimbisa from Kimbisa.org and Candelo Store. First of all, I want to thank our gracious host from Crescent City Conjure. Man, I'm loving New Orleans and I'm loving what we're doing. So today we figure we're going to talk a little bit about ourselves <laughs> and about what the fuck we do. Now we're doing what we're doing. Fuck the thing, but we're still doing, okay? I want to tell everybody, Salaam Aleikum, Aleikum Salaam. And wherever oh, sorry, the may be, where they have all the necessary life. First of all, we have Professor Charles Porterfield who joined us today. And he's going to speak a little bit about himself and what he does. Well, uh, I came here to get something to eat. <laughs> I was lured in, and uh, this one right here says, oh, we're going to do this interview. And I said, oh, you have a nice interview. And he said, no, you in it, too. <laughs> and I thought about whooping him, but we was in a public place. We don't need no trouble. So I am Professor Charles Porterfield, and hoodoo is my business. And I am here again in the beautiful Crescent City of New Orleans with my brother and my new friends and my beautiful wife and my beautiful other people with us. And all of us are here together. And that's about it. As far as what I do, I do what I do with what I have. And please do check out his new book, okay? It's called The Sporting Life by Professor Charles Porterfield. And next, but not least, my good friend, Udo Zen Mosey, who's going to talk to you a little bit about something else. And then I'll take this shit over. Yeah. <laughs> good afternoon, folks. Udo Zen is here with Crescent City Conjure. Um, we just having uh, a day with, uh, with friends, family, and uh, we just wanted to, to bring some of that to you. Um, of course, you know myself and uh, St. Elias with uh, Crescent City Conjure here always uh, representing and uh, we just wanted to say that that you know we're honored to have to have all of you here it, it is absolutely an esteem and, and, and an honor to to be sitting at a, at a table with you and um, if I may uh, Professor Porterfield if I can ask you uh, why is it that you do the, the things that you do? You said voodoo is your business, so yeah. why, why, why is why is voodoo your business? Well, because it's kind of a tangled web. <laughs> <laughs> because when I was little, uh -huh. I was brought up around it, and then, like a lot of other people, I kind of rebelled and tried every different kind of spirituality there was sure. to get away from my own people. And then I just kind of came back home and said, that's enough running around. Yeah. Do what you know, do what's in your heart, do what you feel, do what works. And the reason I do hoodoo is because it makes sense to my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and my brother here is an esteemed man. So this, is, this man's a priest. And I don't know Paolo from Paolo. <laughs> and he talks about these things. And I have other friends. And whether they do Ifa or Santaria or Kimano or whatever, or do. they talk about it. And it seems like it's good for them. And I'm so happy and proud for them that they're doing it. And while I'm listening to them talk about it, I'm going. Because <laughs> it don't make no sense to me. Yes, indeed. But conjure and hoodoo make sense to me. Mm -hmm. It's natural. Right, and right, so right. when someone comes to me and says, uh, well, what do I do about this situation, that situation? If the answer ain't already in my head and I don't have somebody else I can find it from, I know that I can get the answer because it's within that framework that sure. I understand. Sure. And I don't want to go off and learn some of the framework that's not a part of me, where I'm from, what I'm doing, who I'm involved with. So that's why Hoodoo is my business. Now, yeah. people watch these because they want to learn something. People watch these videos because they want to take away something with the video. So, what's a little piece of wisdom? Stop it! This is an ongoing joke. What's Stop it? There has, there has been plenty of goddamn people who started that shit with that string. I'd be fucked up. Okay. <laughs> My message to everybody today is, because you know I am a reader, right? So I'll do it like this. What is my message to everybody today, Mr. Jones? I don't or know. Should I put that No, no, what is your message for today? Let's find out. My message for the day is, 
Don't drink in hoodoo. That's another one. That's another <laughs> message. <laughs> Don't drink in post. <laughs> but I'm drinking and doing both. But hey. <laughs> But I've been at it for a long time. Don't drink and post on Facebook. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> My message for the day is, the gentleman, be wary of that message you get from that well-dressed, dapper gentleman. Be best, be wary about it. Because it talks about a consultant or somebody you think about you know, that is a good consultant or whatever. But right now there's a warning against that well-dressed person. Not you, the well-dressed. <laughs> Yes. Oh no. Listen, I don't have any interest in your section E French and all that shit. You're my brother. And you are very well dressed. But be wary of that message you get from that person. Including me, I'm kind of fucking well dressed today. So fuck y'all and your hoodoo. I'm just playing. Salam alaikum, everyone. If I were to. to to give a message to, to anyone, uh, what I would say is to seek out what you what you want to seek out, and don't let anyone stop you. Um, Amen. Wisdom is always there for those who look for it, and all of us are here to you know give whatever yes. you know tidbits of wisdom we may you know we, we, we may pass on. And the boys so, video is up. If there's something that you that, that you're looking for, that you have questions about, that you're that you're seeking out, you know, don't hesitate or, or don't you know don't allow fear to take over to stop you from seeking out you know growth and your own potential. And that's what I would say. Okay, Absolutely. And, and before this video is in, I'm, 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 okay, go ahead. okay, so now we had a little reading, we had some wisdom, <laughs> but that's not the way I interpreted the question. So here's how my, my, I'm going to interpret the question. Oh, is he going to give us some work? Here, 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 so this is my answer. Salt is your friend. <laughs> All right, no, I'm, I'm serious. Common table salt, kosher salt, sea salt. Get you some salt. If you aren't working with salt yet, you need to be working with salt. You need to be cleaning your house. You need to be cleaning your steps. You need, to be, you need to be guarding your doorstep. You need to be carrying some in your pocket. You need to keep that salt with you because as salt always does, you say to it, salt, hear me. Salt, obey me. Salt, protect me. And you work that salt, and that's worth it. A million dollars right there. You don't got to get no fancy whatever. You get you some table salt at the grocery store, and you be fine. All right, guys, that's uh, Charles Porterfield. That's Candelo Conviza. And of course, that's Hulu Samoyes. And I'm uh, Sin Elias with Crescent City Conjure. Uh, if you guys want to tell them where they can find you real quick. www.crescentcityconjure.com. Me, everything can be so, and everything that smells funny. Guess where I'm at? <laughs> so I'm going to make everyone. <laughs> ProfessorPorterfield.com, where you can find me. All right, guys, until next time, peace.